Hey, what's up guys? Madram11. Uh, this video is going to be a little different than what you normally see on the channel. Uh, we're going to start a new video series called Who Is? And I figured what better way to start than uh, Who Is Madram11? Um, you know, most of you guys watch the videos and have for years and I appreciate all that. But a lot of you guys don't really know a whole lot about myself and I figure it's time I give you guys a little look into who I am. Uh, name's Cole, most, some of you know that. Uh, 32 years old. Uh, I've been doing this YouTube thing for a while now. Uh, it's not my full-time job, but I uh, started the channel back in 2006, you know, just as looking a way to share videos with my friends and uh, never really anticipated that it would grow into what it has now. Um, it's pretty crazy, really. And uh, But I just started with going riding with buddies and filming what we did and get home and they'd want to see what, what you know, the, the hills that they had climbed or whatever to study and whatnot so stumbled upon YouTube about a month or two after it had started and just started uploading the videos and go riding with all my friends and over the years it just it's gotten bigger and bigger and uh, it's pretty crazy to what it is now especially the last few years with social media has really just pushed it pushed it along but anyway um, I get asked a lot you know how old am I um, and whatnot I'm 32 years old uh, Maybe maybe young to some of you, maybe old to some of you. Uh, just is what it is. I'll be 33 in June. Um, uh, let's see. You guys, some of you guys know I'm married. Um, I've got a little boy, Reed, and uh, then uh, my wife. She used to race my old buggy, uh, but once she got pregnant with our son, uh, she just didn't care a whole lot about it, and and I didn't have time anymore because we go to these events and I'm filming or running the tent and whatnot. So. Uh, Sold it to a gentleman, uh, wanted it, he called me up one day, just wanted enough on to sell it and just sort of worked out and so we sold it and a lot of guys ask if I miss it. Some days I do, but honestly I just didn't have time for it and it was a lot of upkeep that a lot of people don't realize goes along with it and uh, so that part of it I don't miss. Every now and then I'm not going to lie, I like to hit Cable Hill or do a burnout or you know, hear that rev limiter sing. Uh, <clears throat> some people ask, you know, uh, do I have any plans to build another one or have another one someday? For myself, no, I don't. But uh, my little boy, if he has any interest in it when he gets a little older, uh, I've got some ideas. Uh, he'll definitely, we'll definitely have him in something and uh, film it for sure. Um, another thing is, is people ask, is YouTube my full-time job? Uh, no, it's not. It is like a full-time job, but uh, I work for BF Goodrich Tire Manufacturing. I've worked there for 11 years. Um, so it's been good to me. Uh, I don't have any plans of quitting right now. Um, I enjoy it. It's a good job, good benefits, and those things are important, especially with family. Uh, YouTube is almost a full-time job too, so it's pretty much like working two full-time jobs by the time you figure in all the traveling and sitting behind the computer and keeping up with it and social media and all the things that go along with that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to open up my Christmas present that I bought myself that I hadn't got to open yet uh, something I've always wanted so as a lot of you guys know that Tim Cameron and I raced a bomber car last year in the ultra four race and then this past King of the Hammers uh, we raced and came in 11th and I'll probably never have my own bomber car because like, they're expensive but uh, as soon as I saw Randy Slauson post these things up right here that an RC version I knew that I could afford it and it's probably the quickest way that I'd ever have a bomber uh, things pretty awesome if you guys can't see it uh, can't wait to get it open and play with it uh, however I didn't realize that it didn't come with the battery or the charger so I've got to buy that um, which is on order but uh, but anyway uh, let's see what else uh, I get asked a lot um, where's my favorite place to, to wheel that would be Grey Rock Off-Road Park even though it's not really open anymore uh, we still get to have a few private rides there and and whatnot, because uh, there's just Cable Hill. There's just there's no other hill out there that I've been to, and all the parks I've been to, I've been to a bunch of them that compares to Cable Hill when it's wet. Uh, those guys can just hit it so fast and with so much speed, and uh, you know, I, just, I tell people if you ever get the chance to, uh, that's one that's one worth checking out. Um, so definitely on the list. This thing open. Man, missed one. But uh, I 
but nothing is is uh I figure some guys ask what YouTube channels I keep up with a good bit and uh first and foremost is uh Triple X Motorsports. Uh, Chris Carroll is one of my best friends who's really helped me a lot to grow my channel and whatnot and push me in. And another one is the Life of Price, uh, Jonathan Price. Uh, man, I've never heard such a loud system in my life as this Tahoe. And uh, it's pretty insane. He's got a big following and he's worked really hard and he's a big influence and those two guys. And then uh, there's a few others. Uh, but those are the two main ones that that I keep tabs on the most and uh, communicate with probably on a, almost a daily basis. But uh, man, this thing is awesome. Heck yeah, perfect. But uh, I actually wrote down a few questions uh, that we're gonna ask some of the other drivers. Um, I guess. What was the first off-road vehicle ever had? Um, and again, I'm, I had this in high school. I had a Dodge Diesel with a, it was a 2001. It had, a, I guess, it had just six-inch lift and 35s. But when I got out of high school and started working, I put 42s on it, locked it, re-geared it, put a hydro assist steering on it, and uh, man, I just treated it bad. We hit every mud hole in sight, climbed a few hills. Didn't really have a clue what we were doing. Just had a good time. <laughs> and uh, I saw that truck and I went and bought a Jeep. And uh, it went all downhill from there. <laughs> so uh, I dropped, I'll never forget, I brought this Jeep home. And uh, I still lived at home. And man, my dad, he was pretty upset. He wasn't very happy about it. But he didn't say a whole lot. He just, and I, I knew that's how he was upset because he didn't say a whole lot. And uh, But it worked out because that Jeep led to, a lot of these off-road videos, you know, and uh, so I'd say that was a good purchase and my dad will even tell you now that it probably worked out and, uh, but anyways, so just one of those things. But uh, another thing is, is where did Matter M11 come from? Um, started as a website called pavementsucks.com, uh, used to be a Dodge forum and I uh, got on there and needed a screen name. And so, Mad, Mad Ram, I drove a Dodge, why not? And then 11 came from a baseball number, played a lot of baseball all the way through high school and a little bit after, and uh, 11 was my number, so I just threw them together. And uh, sort of when YouTube started, and I started up a channel, I just used that name, uh, never realizing what it would grow into, which I'm glad it did, because there's not another name out there like that, so it's very unique. And uh, can't mistake me for anybody else. But, uh, Let's see. I know I'm just sort of rambling, but just figure some of you guys have asked these questions over the years. I figure I'd take the time to answer them. Um, what's my most memorable moment from the sport? Oh, it's hard to say. Uh, Tim Cameron's Fat Girl Wheelie. I think that changed the changed the sport and and brought it to a lot of people. Um, that was a pretty crazy day that uh, he took Fat Girl and did that wheelie and. You know, you ask a lot of people and that's the first video they ever saw and that's really the first video that ever went viral and I didn't even know what viral meant back then. And I uh, just knew on YouTube it got a ton of hits and I didn't have a clue, you know, it just, just is what it is. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What do I love about the sport the most? Um, is the family atmosphere. Um, you know, everybody is good to everybody. Uh, if you have a problem, everybody will loan you parts, do whatever they can to help you. Um, and then when people are sick and having problems with personal life, they'll help you out the best they can, you know. It's just, it's just a good good family, you know. Some of these guys are I'm close to, they're like my brothers and sisters and uh, whatnot, and met some of my best friends through all of it. So that's one of my favorite things about the sport. But... Uh, but anyway, I just figured I'd talk to you guys a little bit. I know I sort of rambled and whatnot. I'm not the best at talking to this camera. And, but I figured uh, I'd give it a shot. And I uh, hope you guys didn't bore you too much. But anyway, like I said, we're going to try and interview a bunch of the drivers this year, 2016. And uh, so if any questions that you'd like to, to ask them, let me know. I'll write them down and we'll uh, give it a shot and see who all we can get to answer them and whatnot. But uh, like always... Uh, 
hit that like button down there. You know that stuff, it means more than you realize. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, whatnot. But anyway, talk to you guys later. Thanks.